certainly excited to hear after an absence of seven years that the Johannesburg Ballet's magnificent Romeo and Juliet is back. It's being staged at the Johannesburg Theatre from today until Sunday, the 9th of July. Now, the production is inspired by Shakespeare's tale of the tra tragic feud between two families in Renaissance Italy. And joining us live in studio is a producer, Angela Milan, and dancers, Gabriel Fernandez and Monique Cristina. Good morning to you, uh, Angela, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm just holding in my breath because <laughs> when you're sitting... It, you you know, in the presence of an internationally acclaimed, well-decorated principal dancer and now teacher, you have to hold your breath. <laughs> but you look absolutely beautiful, oh, and I'm so you. excited for the Johannesburg Ballet to be back after seven years. What, is it, what does it mean for you? <clears throat> well, Romeo and Juliet has always been one of my favorite ballets, and it's just been an incredible experience to be able to revisit the ballet, but this time as uh, the producer yeah. of, of Romeo and Juliet with Joburg Ballet. Um, <clears throat> it's a huge production and it's a wonderful way, it's that first full length I think that the company is doing this year, um, but it's a magnificent production with uh, beautiful sets, costumes mm -hmm. and I must admit some really glorious dancing. <laughs> yes, and, and the story behind it of course, the tragic of uh, the Shakespearean um, classic around the feuding families on a pure and innocent love that knows nothing else but just to be, you know, with Romeo and Gillette. It's something that we hold on to, isn't it? it? Absolutely, and it's funny that you say that. Yesterday we had um, 300 kids came to the ballet. Most of them, I'd say 99% had never seen ballet before. So afterwards, um, I had a question and answer with the kids, and one of the girls said to me, so what is the moral of the story? And I thought, wow, that's a fantastic question. That's mm. a brilliant question. And I had to think about it. And then I said, I think the, the, the moral of the story is to always trust your heart. Go with your heart. And that's really what Romeo and Juliet do. They really go with their heart because they're really not going with their heads. They're yeah. not thinking with their heads. They're thinking with their hearts. And it's and absolutely it's beautiful. But as you're saying, for somebody who hasn't seen a ballet, uh, obviously there's no dialogue. And uh, it's really about the music and the dancing. It, talk us through how you, you infuse the story in the absence of a narrator. So, you, you know, usually with ballet, there's mime. And it's like the king or, you, you know, all the miming things. This in, in Romeo and Juliet, it's really pure acting. Like it's real acting without words. So you, you actually feel what Romeo and Juliet are feeling. Um, you go through the whole journey with them. Um, at the end of the performance, if you're not, if, if firstly, if you're not crying at the end of the performance, <laughs> yeah. the score is so beautiful, is so amazing. And then with the original choreographer, choreography by Nicholas Beriasov, you get taken along this incredible journey. Mm. Um, so yeah, you don't have to have anything to, to, to read or anything, you can see by the enactment of the dancers. Yeah. And, and I'll have you, I'll have you know that um, you now live in, in Milan in Italy, I but do. you're born yes. and raised here, trained in Johannesburg, and then went on to accumulate all these accolades, including the South African Arts and Culture Trust, uh, as not only the best principal dancer, but also a teacher. We, South Africa is abound with talent, as we always brag about it. So speak us through uh, the, uh, the actors, as it were, or the dancers for this play. Um, right now you're going to see um, Monique Cristina and um, Gabriel Fernandez in the roles of Juliet and Romeo. And this little excerpt is from the balcony scene where they've met and um, they've now he's come into the garden to see if he can find her and she's out on the balcony. And then, um, yeah, they, they meet. And you can just see, it just goes into it. You'll see that they just... It's just the joy it's of such that a love, you know. It is, and you can see that, that just the way the movement and... But like I said, the score is just magnificent and you get carried away. And as you can see, they're really world-class dancers that you'll be seeing at Joburg Theatre in the Romeo and Juliet. And this particular scene speaks about, you know, they say um, 
absence make the heart grow fonder and you see that excitement in, in reunited. Absolutely, like they, they've just met and um, they've fallen in love, like it's a love at first sight. And uh, this is the first moment that they are alone together without, be, without anyone around them and they're exploring their love for each other. And she's just ecstatic. She's never felt anything like it before. It's almost upside down. <laughs> wow. This is the and, entwining and, and, of their arms. Yes. And, and you were saying that, obviously, as a dancer, this is something that you do for a lifetime because yes. of the demands that it has, not only for the genre, but the discipline as well. Absolutely. And, you know, I think a lot of people don't realize that it's, it is an absolute um, life-consuming, all-consuming profession. It's because it's it's what you eat, it's what you drink, it's it's your physical being, um, and then also we have this uh, uh, this amazing. We have to be these incredible athletes mm -hmm. and also these incredible artists and actresses and actors. Yes. Yeah. So now it's back after seven years, and people, I'm sure, the response that you've had opening night tonight uh, is yeah. almost sold out. Yes. We, I, when last I checked, we had only four tickets left of. Um, for the opening night. Uh, so the, the performance is sold very, very well. But we've got interesting times for the performances. Um, mm -hmm. There are some wonderful 11 o'clock performances on Thursday and Friday, um, Wednesday and Thursday next week, uh, where tickets are only 110 Rand. Okay. So it's really, you know, open for it. We would like ballet to be as yeah. inclusive as possible. I hear with the technical crew, what, what is the etiquette? Because after that brilliant, breathtaking performance, uh, what is the etiquette? Do you clap afterwards or is it... Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely you clap. I yeah. mean, um, I wouldn't bring out your vuvuzela, <laughs> but... <laughs> well, it is South Africa. You, you might just find that you one know, person. It's, just, it's okay. If, if that's how you feel, that's <laughs> wonderful. I think just to, um, to show your appreciation is is so wonderful for the dancers mm -hmm. you know there's nothing worse than d killing yourself literally and then yeah. you know you have like crickets so I yeah, think it's I really important that yeah. they express themselves well, the well, yeah I mean let's speak about the friends um, of the Joburg Ballet who donated about 250,000 Rand towards the production and the importance of keeping the arts and culture sector alive not only for in to the entertainment value that it has but there is the skills transfer the job creation and also flying the South African flag internationally absolutely I think that the the Friends of the Ballet, the Joburg Friends of Ballet, have done incredible things for the company mm. um, financially, uh, emotionally. Their support has, been, has always been wonderful. Um, I was a part of um, Joburg Ballet many years ago, and I, the Friends of the Ballet have always been in incredible to the company and to its dancers and to the member of staff. I think that the arts everywhere in the world, um, you know, battle financially. And with the support of the Friends of the Ballet, it definitely keeps the company alive. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. No, we really, really appreciate it, Angela. I mean, I'm just, oh, I'm just caught up in this moment. You know, you almost want to rekindle the, a, lo a love that was once lost, or even if you had mm -hmm. hardened your heart because of past experiences. Yeah. But seeing the Romeo and Juliet production just gives us a renewed sense of hope and Absolutely. faith that love really is, um, you know, worth fighting for absolutely yeah. and uh, you won't regret it when you come to see the ballet because it really is just a magnificent production and uh, with world-class dancers absolutely and the ones that we celebrate but thank you indeed that is Angela Milana speaking to us on the Romeo and Juliet production of the Johannesburg uh, ballet and this is happening at the Johannesburg theater make sure you book your your tickets uh, only ranging from 150 Rand as little as 110 Rand actually Actually, uh, that you can book online. That is at the Johannesburg Theatre here in Bramfontein, and it is the Joburg uh, ba Ballet. Uh, after seven years, the Romeo and Juliet back on stage.